hello folks so i want to share with you this image which has rattled my mind and which has stayed with me ever since i saw it and i want to explain some of the controversy with it okay and uh, so what's striking about this image is not uh, the um, uh, governor schwarzenegger sitting in front of these panels but this is for a solar installation on top of uh, a rooftop of an industrial building uh, in California. And what I'm surprised by is that I see these uh, panels, okay, and they're placed uh, on a tilt, but this is for Southern California. And I noticed that the tilt of uh, these panels, which I would expect it to be close to the latitude, which is, you know, between 36 or 39 degrees, but I see that that's these panels are tilted much uh, less than that. So, you know, I'm wondering what's going on uh, over here. Okay. So I want to explain what is the optimal spacing and tilt of these uh, solar arrays that uh, you see too often on top of uh, roofs of uh, industrial buildings or Walmart or your Home Depot or so on, okay? So here's such uh, one more image. So this is for installation in Arizona. And again, you see that, you know, whenever you have uh, installation of these, uh, of these solar arrays, they are placed uh, at an angle. Okay, and I can see these uh, uh, shadow being casted over here as well. Okay, and I see that there's a separation between uh, these two panels, okay, which are in this array. So, what is the separation or what is the optimal separation which should be there between these uh, panels? Okay, so let's talk about what should be the optimal tilt and what should be the optimal separation. Okay, so let's say what are some of the factors that uh, I must uh, consider. So if I have a solar array, it's slightly different than having a single array or having a single panel. Okay, so if I have just one single panel, I know that I will tilt at equal to at angle equal to the latitude of the latitude of the place. Okay, but if I have these arrays of solar panels which are placed next to each other, as uh, would be the case uh, in the images we saw above, then I need to also take into account that I have limited space in the you know on my roof, so I want to place them uh, as close to each other. So ideally, I would want the other panel to be right next to this uh, panel. But that can cause a problem, okay? And the problem is that uh, if the light is coming in the evening, okay, so if the sunlight is uh, incident uh, in the evening, okay, these panels will cast a shadow, okay? And uh, these panels will essentially cast a shadow. And these shadow, depending upon what angle the light is incident on, whether it's uh, uh, late afternoon or whether it's uh, late evening, it would be either smaller or longer or even longer, okay? And as this shadow becomes longer and longer, it will shade out, it will shade out more and more of these panels, which is uh, adjacent to it. Okay, so what if I had placed these panels right uh, adjacent to each other? Okay, so what if I had taken this extreme step and uh, placed these panels right next to each other? So you would see that, you know, as as long as even the light is coming at a slight angle, this panel would cast a shadow and it would block out or it would shade out a lot of the area on my adjacent panel. So that's an important consideration that uh, I need to account for, okay? And many a times I would uh, play, with the, play with this pitch or play with this angle of tilt of my, of my uh, panel to essentially optimize the total amount of power that I can get in that area of my roof, okay? So shown is uh, one such uh, optimization over here. So over here, uh, this is talking for uh, array which has a fixed uh, setback, okay? So it means that it has a fixed Essentially, this is uh, limited to three times the three times the width of the panel. Okay, so the setback is limited to three to one. 
and then i'm looking at what should be my optimal angle which i should uh, essentially place uh, these uh, panels upon okay so if i had just one panel or if i had just one array this angle would have been equal to the latitude of the place okay so this would have been my optimal optimal angle if there was only one panel but you'll realize that if you have uh, multiple of these panels and if you place them at that angle you would have uh, losses due to shading coming from this first panel onto my second panel okay so this angle might not be the optimal if you have these arrays uh, of panels placed next to each other okay and oftentimes you find that you might want to place these panels at an angle which is uh, less than it could be almost as less as 10 degrees less than uh, what is the latitude at that place okay and again it depends upon what is the setback if you don't have enough setback then you would probably want these panels to be placed at uh, even lower tilt okay so it's an optimization problem as where I'm playing with the setback, where I'm playing with an angle to optimize the power output that I can get. Now, I'm uh, ingenious enough and I'll think, you know, is there something else which I can do uh, to essentially minimize the impact of this shading which comes from the adjacent panel? Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at uh, uh, a case and uh, this is the case of uh, silicon based uh, silicon solar cell based uh, panel okay and uh, the bypass diodes in this panel are placed on this uh, on this uh, short side of the panel so here i have two bypass diodes okay which are connecting the string of these panels and the question i have for you is should i place them in a portrait in a portrait orientation like this or should i place them in a landscape orientation like this okay so now let's consider this case uh, if they're placed uh, in a portrait orientation okay so if they're placed in a portrait orientation what would happen if uh, this panel cast a shadow on this adjacent panel so this essentially shades out the very bottom part of my adjacent panel okay so this will shade out this part of my panel okay so if i have if i look at these two these two strings which have a bypass diode i see that i have shaded out two of these cells in the string okay so i lose most of the power from this string i've also shaded out two of these cells in the next string so i lose most of the power which is being generated in the other string as well. So I'll, I see that, you know, I'll be able to get very minimal power output if my panel is in portrait uh, mode and it's uh, being shaded given this configuration of bypass diodes. Okay, now let's, let's look at landscape mode. So if the same panel is placed uh, in landscape mode, it would essentially again shade out the shading uh, from the panel which is uh, before it will shade out this bottom part of uh, my panel. Okay, now what I notice is that all of that shading, okay, it's affecting this string. So the power which is being generated in this string, which is these two, uh, these two uh, rows uh, over here, this will be lost. But these, uh, the power which is generated in the top part of the panel, that will essentially still be able to flow through the bypass diode and get collected because the top, this uh, top half of the panel is uh, not getting shaded. And we have a bypass diode in the bottom half of the panel, which can let that uh, current through. So we see in this case, certainly if you have a silicon based uh, solar cell panel and uh, you have a bypass diode, which are placed on the short side, then a landscape mode is uh, preferred. And it might also be preferred because if you place them in this way, uh, you know, you would have less height of uh, the uh, of this panel and that would uh, shade less but again you would require much more width of this array to accommodate for the larger to accommodate for this uh, larger width in the landscape mode okay now let's look at another case so i have this uh, thin film uh, 
uh, based uh, solar panel okay and in a thin frame cell I know that my cells are quite huge so this is my whole this whole part is one cell okay and these cells are then connected in series over here and let's say you know I have no bypass diode uh, in this panel I've avoided any bypass diode okay so if I place the cell again in uh, uh, portrait mode okay if I place in portrait mode due to the shading from the panel in front of it the bottom part of this uh, this uh, panel will get uh, shaded okay but remember that's only partially shading the whole cell this whole cell is uh, quite uh, uh, tall okay so I'm losing the cell but I'm not losing it completely so the power output of each of these cells will degrade okay and accordingly the power output of the panel would uh, degrade but it's not going to be completely shut off or the power is not going to be completely lost okay so the larger size of these cells in certain sense it allows for better immunity uh, with respect to shading versus if I place this panel in uh, landscape mode okay again I have these diodes which are uh, connected in series with each other but if I place them in landscape mode this shadow on the bottom part of the panel would essentially shade out this complete uh, cell and since these cells are series connected and this cell is uh, mostly shaded out you would see that I would incur a much larger power loss if uh, this panel was placed uh, in a landscape uh, fashion okay so in this particular case I would uh, prefer uh, it to be placed uh, in a portrait uh, fashion Another thing that you might have heard is that, you know, thin flame based uh, solar panels are more immune to uh, shading, it's often said. So part of that results from the larger size of uh, the cell. So it's hard to shade out a cell completely. Another uh, reason why people say that is because a lot of time these cells, they're, they have soft IV characteristics, it means that they have lower fill factor. And also, if you go in the reverse bias, they don't don't completely uh, saturate the IV characteristic does not completely saturate if you had a crystalline uh, solar cell uh, many times it's IV characteristic it's much flatter in the reverse bias region versus in the case of uh, thin film cells it's uh, it's much more softer okay and uh, that means that uh, not less voltage is needed to essentially you know even if you are if you have a cell which is uh, completely shaded uh, you can um, reverse bias it and uh, let the current flow without dropping a lot of voltage through that bad cell. So that also helps in uh, the better performance of uh, thin film uh, panels, especially where you have uh, more shading. 